Okay, so today I wanted to touch on how to choose the right Cerakote for the right job. So there's multiple different types of Cerakote. Um, the one people are most familiar with is H-Series. So H-Series has, it's got good corrosion resistance, good durability and hardness. It's got decent UV stability while still holding chemical resistance and a decent thermal stability as well. So this is the most used coating you're going to find when it comes to Cerakote. It's the oven cure. Um, a lot of people are going to use it on knives, firearms, tumblers. Anything that really sees a day-to-day -day use is going to probably have H-Series. It's also one of the nice to use for customizations, images, battle-worn, camo. It works really well all around. Um, so this is your standard series you're going to use for anything from knives, shovels, even tattoo machines. Um, this is going to be your go-to when it comes to that. A close sibling of that is also one of their newer coatings, um, and that's E-Series. So E-Series, also an oven cure coating, is going to have a higher corrosion and durability resistance. Um, it's going to have a little bit better UV stability, a higher chemical resistance while still maintaining a good thermal resistance. Um, a lot of H&E series, most, I'm not going to say all, but most H&E series, you're going to be looking at somewhere around a max of 500 degrees Fahrenheit resistance. Um, so it's still fairly resilient, um, but it's just not... It's not going to give you that high thermal stability if you're looking for it. Um, however, it does have very good corrosion and durability, um, as well as chemical, which could be helpful in a lot of different industries as well. Um, the other coating I'm going to talk about is C-Series. So C-Series is not an oven cure. C-Series is an air cure. Um, one thing you are going to notice about C-Series is that the corrosion resistance and durability isn't as good as H&E. Um, however, it still maintains very well, so I don't want people to think that that's necessarily a bad thing. Um, your UV stability and chemical resistance is still going to be very well. However, with C-Series, their Glacier Series coatings is really where it shines for me with the C-Series. Um, these have temperature ratings of up to 1,800 degrees, which make them perfect for any kind of engine, piston, muffler, exhaust, any kind of high temp resistance needed is going to be in your C-Series. Now, they do have a V-Series that is an oven cure high temp, but you have to have a, you have to have a lot hotter oven because it is an oven cure. And most Cerakoters won't have an oven that goes up to that, that temperature. Um, but not saying they won't either. Um, it's just more common to use the C-Series um, than it is V. Um, but these are the three main ones you're going to find uh, on Cerakoter shelves right now. Um, for many Cerakote company you choose to go with, whether it be us, whether it be you know anybody else, um, the main three coatings you're going to find on people's shelves right now are E, H, and C series. And I just wanted to, all I wanted to do is give you a little bit of an insight on what to choose and maybe which one is best for your project you're doing at the moment. Um, you know, again, if you call a Coder and tell them what they're doing, like for us, for instance, if you call us and say, hey, you know, this is what I'm using it on. I wanted to know how much it's going to be or, you know, how much the project's going to cost. Um, we would then tell you we recommend this and this is why. But just as an insight on what we're seeing, um, we wanted to give that a little bit of a knowledge base to you. So, again, um, if you're looking to Cerakote, reach out. And here at Burkle Cerakote, it's always custom.